Spinach is one of our favorite cool weather greens. It's nutritious, delicious, and fairly easy to grow when done right. Today I'll show you how to grow spinach from seed to harvest. Spinach grows best in full sun to partial shade in soil that's rich in organic matter and has a pH between 6.5 and 7. If you make annual applications of compost and or mulch, you may not need to use any additional fertilizer on your spinach. Too much nitrogen in particular makes spinach taste bitter, so make sure to go easy on the nitrogen. And if you're unsure about your soil fertility, you can find out exactly what it needs by having your soil tested by a professional lab. If you live in the United States, these lab tests are available at a low cost through your agricultural extension. Spinach is very frost tolerant and grows best in cool weather in early spring and in the fall, or even in the winter if you're in a warmer climate. You can start your spinach seeds indoors five weeks before your last frost, but we get our best results by planting seeds directly in the garden. For a spring crop, we start seeds outdoors about five weeks before our last frost or as soon as the ground can be worked. We plant seeds a half inch deep and about four inches apart, or nine plants per square foot using square foot garden spacing. We then succession plant more spinach every week or so until our last frost. If you plant your spinach much after the last frost, there's a good chance you won't have a very good crop. It grows best in soil temperatures from 50 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Germination rates get lower as the soil gets warmer than that, and plants will bolt and go to seed in hot weather. For a fall crop, we plant again in late summer through early fall. Spinach is cold hardy enough that a fall crop can continue growing into winter in many areas. In fact, in much hotter climates than ours, it's strictly a winter crop. Spinach has moderate nutrient requirements and grows well in soil that's cemented annually with organic matter. It also needs light, but consistent watering. We try not to let the soil get too soggy or too dry. One of the great things about starting spinach early in the spring when it's still cold outside is that there aren't many pests active in the garden yet and as a result we have very few pest problems with our spinach. We sometimes see aphids on our fall crop, but when we do we just spray them off with a garden hose. Spinach is usually ready to harvest in 40 to 52 days or earlier if you harvest baby spinach. We like to harvest the outer leaves when they're large enough to eat. Even when we strip most of the leaves from the plant, the plants grow new leaves in no time at all. Here I am harvesting spinach 11 days ago. And here is the same plant just 11 days later. As you can see, there's plenty more to harvest. You can also harvest the entire plant by cutting it about an inch above the soil surface and the plant will regrow new leaves. When it starts getting warmer outside, your spinach is going to want to bolt and go to seed and that's exactly what's happening here with this red kitten spinach. When we see this happening, we harvest the plants more aggressively by cutting back the plants that are bolting. This gives us a nice harvest and may help the plant focus more of its energy on more leaf production instead of seed production. But you can't keep bolting at bay indefinitely. These plants will be done producing in another month or so. We're currently growing two varieties of spinach, red kitten spinach, which I just harvested, and giant winter spinach, which is growing in the front yard. Both of these varieties are very cold hardy, but they do tend to bolt fairly early in the season. For a slower bolting smooth leaf spinach, try growing space spinach, and Thai is a good slow bolting savoid leaf variety. Finally, no discussion about spinach would be complete here in the One Yard Revolution garden without talking about season extension. Spinach is so cold hardy that it survives our zone five winters under one layer of cover, either a glass covered coal frame or a low tunnel with six mil greenhouse film. And we harvest spinach all winter long. This red kitten spinach was planted early last fall and gave us harvest through the winter under a simple glass covered coal frame. And this spinach, thrived under a low tunnel covered with one six mil layer of greenhouse plastic. So if you're interested in extending the growing season and harvesting crops through the winter, even in a colder climate like zone four or zone five, spinach is one of the best cold hardy crops for the winter garden. So if you haven't had much luck growing spinach in the past, 
I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can have more success in the future. If there's one takeaway from today's video, it's don't wait until after your last frost to plant spinach. It likes the cool weather, so start earlier, as early as five weeks before your last frost. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to.